Hey, Keith and Caleb here at Rock Island Auctions again, and today we've got the big green monster right here in Holy Shades of Battlefield 1942. What have we got? This is the Rockatin Panzerbusch 54, or Panzer Shrek, yep. which translates to Tank Terror, uh, and that's exactly what it was. It was inspired by the US M1 Bazooka. Uh, Germany said, we need something like that, and this is what they came up with. This is a later model. Uh, that has the shield on the front mm -hmm. uh, the very notable feature uh, pretty much you see in like every war movie ever <laughs> yeah. uh, but the earlier model didn't have this and the shooter actually had to wear protective gear mm -hmm. he had to wear a mask a whole you know get up yeah because of the the what's coming off of that rocket coming off the muzzle <laughs> uh, so with the adaptation of this shield no longer needed that which is super cool but the actual weapon itself is a 88 millimeter uh, it fires a rocket that's a shape mm -hmm. charge, so it can punch through pretty much anything. It'll punch through approximately eight inches of armor if you have a square hit, which uh, just to give you some perspective on that, a Sherman or like a T-34, uh, so the American and Russian tanks at the time, um, their armor at the thickest spot was like three, three and a yeah, half inches. Yeah, they were thin skinned. Yeah, yeah. so if, if you got a square hit on one of those tanks, it's definitely going through and it's it's definitely going to do some damage. Yep. Um, but as far as the actual you know, operation and everything of it goes, it loads the rocket through the rear, then you wire that into the electrical mechanism here. Mm -hmm. And then up here, this is your cocking lever. You would pull that back to cock it. And right now it's on safe. So you push this forward and then you can squeeze the trigger and fire it. And that would send the pulse back through here and fire the rocket out the front. And uh, as far as sights go, you can see you yep. have a front sight up there. And you have a little small adjustment. There's a wing nut right there. Yep, adjust your range. Uh, you have your rear sight back here mm -hmm. and a window to see it through. And as far as range goes, speaking of range, uh, a good experienced user under ideal conditions, you know, no wind or anything like that, uh, maximum range is only about 150 meters. So yeah. that's closer than you want to be to a <laughs> tank. <laughs> that's taking some serious cojones to go up against a tank. <laughs> yeah, that's, absolutely. That's, that's pretty tough. Now this one right here, I'm seeing the SA markings. This one would have went to the Sioux Army Army, uh, the Finns. Yep, yep, so that's- After the war. Yep, so you have that marking there. Notice the green paint as mm -hmm. well. Uh, so that's, that's where this one was primarily used. So this one here was, of course, given to the Finns by the Germans to fight the Russians yep. during that and when the Russians were mm -hmm. coming over there. So that's why you have this green paint on there with those Finn markings. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty tough, pretty tough piece of equipment right there. Yep, yep, absolutely. It can only be fired from, you know, one shoulder. It's not ambidextrous because of the yeah. way the sights and shield <laughs> and everything like that are set up. But uh, a very effective weapon and used mm -hmm. a ton during World War II. This is a pretty good chunk of metal. Now, how much does this thing weigh? This thing weighs 24 pounds unloaded. Okay. And to kind of give you some perspective on that, the AT4, mm -hmm. the one that we're using today, is an 84 millimeter. Yep. Same, you know, shape charge type situation. Uh, and that weighs less than 15 pounds loaded. Loaded, yeah. So it's a, it's a, it's a chunk of steel. Yeah. <laughs> For the time, it was the thing until they come out with the, with the Panzerfaust. Yep, yep. So that did the job. And then, you know, even later, you know, Americans had the M18 recoil oh, yeah. rifle, which was a whole nother step that was forward. A whole, yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it certainly got the job done. Cool. All right. Now that's got it for the German Panzer Schreck. Now, if you've got any questions or comments, be sure and drop us a line. And we'd like to thank Rock Island Auctions for having us out to check all their cool stuff again. And be sure to check them out online, too. Thanks for watching, and while you're at it, smash that like and subscribe button. I mean, just hit it hard every time. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault. <laughs>